Hello and welcome to my Spyro Let's Play. This will be my very first Let's Play. So let's start, shall we? This is probably one of the best titles of the PlayStation, including the Crash Bandicoot. They are very popular. Okay, rolling. Oh! It's been peaceful here in the Five Worlds, or is it six, for a Dragon's Age? We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Gnork character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Ouch. Looks like I got some things to do. Yeah, you better be. Cause the things will be turned ugly. The adventure begins. So we are controlling as Spyro. Our buttons are X to jump, square the dash, circle to fire, and pressing triangle to move camera. Also L2 and R2 buttons are rotating the camera, so they are pretty neat. Let's rescue our friends. Hello Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Sure, we can do that. So our objective is uh, collecting all the gems and finding the dragons. Also defeating the bosses. This portal is for the save game, so let's save. Let's start hunting those gems. And those are the gem thieves, they drop a lot of gems when hit. Delvin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um. His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. And also, this Sparks is our health meter. When we got hit, its color turns and slowly fades away. So we need to kill those ships and collect the butterflies to regain our health. Or regen, whatever you call it. Come on! Pressing X twice glides. It's a very useful trick. Also, there should be a jumping puzzle there. Let's jump those rocks one by one. And the secret passage will be open after that. This goes to Sunny Flight. It's a flight stage that you need to destroy all the stages. Mm. 
Let's collect all the gems. And this is also our balloonist. It transports our dragon to the next world. But we need 10 dragons for that. Let's skip that. And this I think if we kill that we gain a new life. So we got total of five life. If Spyro dies, uh, we are going to lose a life, just like Mario does. Cool Flash, do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the Dragon Mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. Uh -huh. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Can do that. And another dragon. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Hey, I just teach that. So, what we got here? Another gem thief. Hello. Oops. We just missed that. But we can't run. Rap. Let's grab those. And some on the back. Yeah, I guess we are fine. We collected all the gems on the ground. Town Square. Sure, we can go there later on. But first, let's grab those gems. And our last gem. So we collected 100 gems. This will be enough. Yeah, we get 100 gems and 4 dragons for this world. So we are done here. Let's head to the town square. Hello chickens. Whoops, I just hit one. Hey, I didn't mention to hurt you. It was an accident. Also, those crates are uh, fireproof, so we need to headbutt them. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Hey, I teach those too. Don't you copy me? So we can't reach the yet. I just 
just looks like a pyramid. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Oh, did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very yeah, yeah. top of your jump? We all know that. Whatever, well, let's say. Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? No. He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Chill out, man. We can get that. We just need to relax. And this is our return home portal. It's a pretty... Not that useful stuff, but we can use that. Just once. So we need to collect that. So this guy is our dragon egg thief. And he's taunting us. How dare him! God damn it, where are you going? Uh oh, we just got juked. God damn it. So we need to do it once more. And be faster this time. Dang it. Get here. And we got it. So we need to collect a lot of eggs. And this world has 200 gems and 4 dragons. Let's do it. Gems. Let's not miss that. So, we are missing eight gems. For releasing me. Okay, let us create a short conversation. So, where are those eight gems? Dang it, we need to find those. Let's look on the this side. Maybe we can find our missing gems. Aha! There you are! Sneaky gems. Ah, we got it.
Now let's head to the return home portal. And we are done. We probably opened our next objective to Toasty. Yeah, we just opened that. But we will go there later on. Let's head to the Stone Hill first. Them. So how many gems we need? Another 200 and 4 dragons and 1 egg. Are those rams? Ouch! Yeah, they are sure rams. They don't look very friendly. And as you can see, we got hit. And our sparks um, change its color, so we need to kill one of those ships and got a butterfly for it. And we got our health. Them, move on. I just had what the RM. That's great. So those are shepherds. They look like a wizard but whatever. Ouch! It's the second time I got hit that. Let's not forget that. How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Well, this will be useful. A good hint. Well, at least for those don't know. Let's grab them. Well, those already have, have very secret chests. Let's not miss them. And the dragon egg. Stop running from me. Well, we already got that. Great. Let's not forget those gems. Where are we going there? Let's look around. And okay, those are gems, two gems. It's great. Let's check this area first. By the way, we can't cross there. Kinda invisible wall for the players 
want to go outside and glitch out the game. Yeah, let's not glitch out the game. It will be terrible. Alright, I guess we got that. So, let's go to the beach first. Before we take to the teleporter. Let's grab that key. Well, I have practiced this stage quite a long. It won't be a problem. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. Yeah. Be better or not. We'll listen that. Also, there is a well here. We can go inside it. And we will use our key for it. That's a lot of gems. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to explain. But he is a good teacher, better than me. I'm pretty sure of that. So what do we left? Here. And I believe we got all the gems and our last dragon. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Yeah, it's a good thing. Let's save our progress. And exit the world. If I remember correctly, this was the way. And this will be the part one. In the next part, we will be in the toasty and the sunny flight.